everyone. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend. Hope everyone had a great week. And uh, hope uh, having some fun with the holiday stuff going on with the family. And uh, finishing up this year strong. Not many weekends left of this year, so uh, got to make them all count. Spend some time with the family, a little recharge time. And uh, that's it. Today we're talking about bringing the kids into the city, see the tree, uh, and all the sights. Um, trying to decide what to do because it's supposed to rain, but we can do drive-bys for most of this stuff. So that might be in the plans for tonight. Get into the holiday, holiday uh, f- season, holiday spirit. But today we are doing our ride, and we are down here at Downing Elementary School. This is where I went to kindergarten to fourth grade. And they have this really cool playground that they didn't have when I was here. And then this area over here that used to be an amphitheater. There's like a pit there. There used to be benches over there way back in the day. We used to hang out on there. And then you got a field over here for sports and whatnot. And then the school. That part of the school they added on after I went here. They expanded the school. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool playground here. And um, we're looking for new places to go live from because, I don't know, 194 days today, and it was kind of getting boring going to the same places. So I said, what else can we do? So I drove past here to school, and uh kind of brings back some memories. Way, way, way back in the day, uh, 40 years ago, I started going here. Wow, when did that happen? Um, but um brings me to my message of the day. Uh, how are you showing up? How were you showing up in life? Back in the day when uh, we went to kindergarten and first, second, third grade, all that stuff, um, we showed up completely. That's all we knew. That's all we did. That was our only focus. We showed up for school and we played and we hung out with our friends and we learned. And we weren't distracted by all the stuff around us. And we didn't know about all the stuff around us. Um, it was really simple. It was really simple. And um, in that idea of showing up, um, in your life, what are you showing up for and how are you showing up for it? Um, are you showing up for your career? Are you working as hard as you can work? Are you doing everything you need to do? Or are you kind of showing up late, playing on the internet? Um, Basically, just trying to pass time until the day is over. Um, in your relationships, are you showing up? Uh, in your marriages, are you showing up? Um, are you putting in the effort into your marriage or into your dating relationship that you put in when you first met? Um, I find this uh, with a lot of people, myself included. Um, when you're out in the world dating, you give it your full effort. That is your main focus. You are doing everything in your power to put your best foot forward and be that shining lighthouse for that person that you're trying to atta- uh, attract. And once you attract that person, you uh, give it your best effort to win them over. You send them good morning text. You bring them flowers. You take them to dinner, you go for hikes, you do all kinds of fun stuff together, and you show up. And as time goes on, we get lazy. We stop showing up. We're out at dinner, and we're both on our phones, ignoring each other. Um, We wake up and leave the house and don't even kiss each other goodbye. Um, We come in, we come home in the evening and don't even say hello to each other. Two strangers passing in the night. And uh, really, really, I think the death of a lot of relationships, a lot of marriages, um, is people stop showing up. People get lazy. People get distracted. And by being distracted, um, you lose your fire. Um, And what happens in a lot of cases that I've found is um, because we're not showing up, someone else shows up in our place. Um, And that's marriage that's friendship um friends in your life that you probably haven't called in a while 
that you're probably neglecting. Life gets busy, and you say, you know what, I'm going to call so-and-so. I haven't talked to him in a while, and you keep putting it off, and you keep putting it off, and you keep putting it off, and you stop showing up. And then those friends make new friends, and they go out and hang out without you, and you're odd man out now because you didn't show up for that friendship. Um, so just make sure that you're showing up for everything in your life. Make sure that if you're there, you're there. If you're there, you're present. Don't be somewhere and be on your phone. Don't be somewhere and be looking around. Don't be somewhere and not be present in the moment. Um, super important, um, really important with marriage. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people and we try to get deep on stuff. And uh, what I realize is the common denominator in most uh, marriages that are failing is people aren't showing up. People aren't showing up. People aren't self-absorbed. They're involved with the kids, and the kids are their focus, and they're not paying attention to their husband, and their husbands are uh, involved in work, and they're not showing up for their wives, and they're involved in fantasy football leagues and all that kind of nonsense that's distracting them from being um, the husband they need to be, from being the father that they need to be, um, and they're not showing up. So really take a minute, evaluate your life, and ask yourself, are you showing up for the things in your life? Are you showing up for the people in your life? Are you showing up like the kid in grade school coming to the playground? Get rid of everything. Get rid of all the distractions. Be present in the moment. Focus on the moment and show up. Show up. The world, you owe it to the world to show up. You owe it to your family to show up. You owe it to your spouse to show up. You owe it to your employees to show up. You owe it to your coworkers to show up. You owe it to your community to show up. So show up, show up. Stop being distracted by the phone. Stop being distracted by TV. Stop being distracted by uh, professional sports. Stop being distracted by video games. Stop being distracted by whatever it is you're being distracted by and show up, be present in the moment and give yourself fully to the people around you. So there's your message of the day. Let's say some prayers. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us all to awaken and start showing up for the people in our lives. Help us to realize that we're being distracted and help us to be present in the moment. Help us to show up uh, fully for those around us. Um, be the best people we can be. Um, help us not to go through life halfway. Help us to be on full throttle, as they say. Uh, amen. All right, everyone. So. It's Saturday. Uh, not many Saturdays left this year. It's uh, is it two, three Saturdays left this year. I don't even know what date it is anymore. Time flies. Um, so what do I got going on today? Today I got painters at my house. Um, we had uh, a leak coming from one of the bathrooms um, that damaged the ceiling, and I had to regrout the bathroom, fuck some stuff up, and in that process. Um, Cleaned up the whole bathroom, got all the regrouted all the all the um, tile, caulked everything, changed out some trim work. Been working on that all week, and that led into fixing the sheetrock in the kitchen, and that led into painting the kitchen. That led into changing the light fixtures, and the might as well is kicked in. So that is the project for today, and then tonight, hopefully, we're going to uh, take the kids into the city. And what else I got going on? Oh, I got my new listing is just about ready. Uh, it's probably going to go open house for next weekend. Uh, 120 Hanson. That one's been taking forever to get done. Uh, contract that's working on it's taking his sweet ass time. But we do what we do. Um, got some showings to do tomorrow. Um, no inventory on the market at all. It's pretty wild that uh, how, how little is on the market right now. Last I looked, there was 10 houses for sale in hour, And uh, half of those are going to contract. I accepted offers already. So uh, there is no inventory. So if you are thinking of selling, I need your house. Literally, like, I got tons of buyers and 
nothing to sell them. So uh, prices are up. And um, yeah, it's a great time to sell. People think holiday time. Yeah, it's a little inconvenient if you're trying to set up, but uh, it's a great time to sell. Um, houses are usually decorated nice, and people love seeing uh, all the lights and everything decorated nice, and it really shows well. And if you got a fireplace, you show the house with the fire going, and it smells like cinnamon, you get those candles going, and it really feels like home, and people love it, and they eat it up, and they buy that house. So uh, it is a great time to sell. Um, there's a lot less competition on the market. And um, so if you're thinking of selling, either uh soon or 2022 prices are up mortgage rates are still low and it's a great time to sell and it's also a great time to buy it's always a great time to buy uh when mortgage rates are low um it's always uh you get a lot of value there um houses go up year after year even when the market uh resets it still winds up going back up a couple years later uh, when the market crashed back in i guess it was 08 ish um, everyone thought it was the end of the world and houses are way up higher than they were back then. So, um, the best time to buy real estate is today because the prices only go up. They only go up every day. And if you're paying rent to someone, you're paying someone else's mortgage and said you could be paying your own mortgage. But there's my real estate talk. Um, hope everyone's having a great day. Um, hope a great weekend is planned. Um, do everyone a favor in your life and yourself. Show up. Show up for people. Show up on full throttle. No half-ass. Give them the full ass. We don't do half stuff half-ass here. We give them full ass. So um, uh, there's your message of the day. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, be sure to check out my Facebook group. We Ride at Dawn 365. We share some inspiration in there and some love in there. and uh, We lean on each other in there. Um, so. Follow me over there. And for those of you that like these messages, go on YouTube, subscribe, Brian Lewis Realtor on YouTube. All these messages are up there. You can flip through them and look back at past messages. And also my Get Some Fire Live podcast is on there also. And you can follow all my stuff there and hopefully be inspired. If anyone needs anything, please reach out. I am here. I am an open book. I am here to serve you. Um, I love loving on people. So Whatever you need, reach out. I'm here to help. No judgment. Just love. Hi, everyone. Appreciate you all. Have a great day.